on playing in my face. Okay. Yep. So when you're ready, you can bring the soles of your feet together. You're going to take your hands to your ankles. You're going to inhale, lift up through the chest. You're going to exhale, fold forward. If you'd like, you can bring the arms down to the mat. here for a few more seconds. How are the knees feeling? Good? Okay. So I was going to say you can also always put blocks underneath the knees as well if you need to. On the inhale, you're going to lift the chest up. You're going to exhale out through the mouth. Very good. So from here, you're going to extend the legs. I'm going to turn this way. You're going to extend the legs out in front of you. And from here, you're going to take the right hand. You're going to take it to the outside of the left foot. When you're ready, you can lift the left foot. Or now you, you knew. Oh, crap. I can do it. Wait. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Look okay. at that. And then you can extend. Oh. There, get the left arm back behind you, looking over the left shoulder. You got it? Oh, it looked harder than it. <laughs> I mean, I'm struggling though. This is not easy. <laughs> you gotta give yourself more credit. You can slowly lower the left foot back down. Very good. We're gonna do the other side. You got it? We're gonna take the left hand to the outside of the right foot. And when you're ready, you're gonna gently lift the right foot. You're gonna extend that right arm back behind you, taking the gaze over the shoulder. Very nice. And when you're ready, you can slowly bring down the right foot. From here on the inhale, we're going to sweep the arms up towards the ceiling. We're going to fold at the hip, reaching once more for the toes of the ankles. Very good. We're going to inhale, slowly taking the hands back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bringing the hands back down. From here, we're going to take the right hand. We're going to place it behind the neck, so right at the upper back. You're going to take the left hand to the right elbow. We're going to open up the chest. Good. And when you're ready, you can release. We're going to do the other side. So you're going to take the left hand to the back of the neck, to the upper back, the right hand to the left elbow, opening up through the chest. Bring the hands back down to the thighs. From here, you're gonna take the knees, you're gonna bring the knees around and we're gonna come into table. So you're gonna spread the fingers wide. From here, you're gonna lower your midsection down towards the mat. You're gonna take the gaze up towards the ceiling. And when you're ready, you're gonna bring the chin down to the chest and you're gonna round out the back. So just doing some cat-cows. You can alternate between the two, so just moving at your own pace, doing whatever feels best for you and your body today. Very good. ready you can slowly make your way back to a neutral spine from here you're going to take your gaze over to the right hip we're going to slowly come back to center and then we're going to take the gaze over the left hip very good then we're going to make our way back to center 
From here, we're gonna take the right foot. We're gonna place the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Very good. And then we're gonna take the left foot to the outside of the left hand. We're gonna come into a yogi squat. Beautiful. And let's hold here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna place the hands on the mat in front of you. You're gonna lift the hips up towards the ceiling. You're gonna adjust the feet underneath you. Beautiful. You're a pro, look at you. No, I'm hurt. <laughs> <laughs> on the inhale, we're gonna do what we call a halfway lift. You're gonna bring the hands right below the knees. Some people, they bring their hands to their thighs if that suits you better. Um, but you can bring them right below the knees, making sure the back is flat. From here, you're gonna take the hands back down to the mat. On the inhale, we're gonna root down to rise up. We're gonna sweep the hands up. Very nice, bringing the palms together, then slowly bringing the hands down to heart center. And then lastly, bringing the hands back down beside us into Dasana or Mountain Pose. Perfect. So, okay. <laughs> perfect. So we're gonna start off by planting the left foot into the center of the mat. And as I mentioned before, you have two options for Eagle Pose. So if you'd like, you can take the right foot, you can wrap it around the left, and then you can take your right arm, wrapping it around the left so that you have coming into Eagle Arms. And you're gonna sit or you can do the right ankle right above the left knee. What's the arms? Yep, so the arms would be right over left. There you go, you got it? Okay. Yes. Bring them closer towards your face. Bring them up just a little bit more. And then sit, there you go. Beautiful. And we're just gonna hold here for a few seconds. What your body is more comfortable doing. Whatever your preference is, is what I say. Okay. Yep. And then you're going to do the other side. So we're going to take the right foot, and we're going to take the right foot, we're going to plant it into our mat. We're going to take the left leg, wrapping it around the right. And so instead of going right over left for the arms, it's going to be the other side. This leg is weaker. Oh, then definitely. Sure. No, I'm going to stop recording because I know this is going to be a fail. Um. I am yours and you are mine.